story of Tupperware Liberland Company. Tupperware is home products line that includes preparation, storage and certain products for the kitchen and home. In 1942, Earl Tupper developed his first bell-shaped container. The brand products were introduced in the year 1948 to the public. The term Tupperware is often used generically to refer to plastic or glass food storage container stops with snap close lids. Tupperware develops manufactures and internationally distributes its products as a wholly owned subsidiary of its parent company Tupperware Brands. As of 2007, it was marketed by means of approximately 1.9 million direct sale peoples in contract. In 2013, the top marketplace of Tupperware was Indonesia, which topped Germany as the second. Indonesia's sales in 2013 were more than $200 million, with 250,000 sales persons. Company history Tupperware was developed in 1936 by Earl Sales Tupper in Leominster, Massachusetts. He developed plastic containers used in households to contain food and keep it airtight, which featured a then patented burping seal. Tupper had already invented the plastic for Tupperware in 1938, but the product succeeded with the emergence of the sale through presentation idea held in a party setting. Tupperware developed a direct marketing strategy to sell products known as the Tupperware Party. The Tupperware Party enabled women of the 1950s to earn an income while keeping their focus in the domestic domain. The party plan model relies on characteristics generally assumed of housewives. Party planning, hosting a party, sociable relations with friends and neighbors. Brownie Weiss recognized Tupperware's potential as a commodity. She realized, however, that she had to be creative and therefore started to throw the Tupperware parties. Weiss, a former sales representative of Stanley Home Products, developed the strategy. As a result, Brownie Weiss was made Vice President of Marketing in 1951. Weiss soon created Tupperware Parties Inc. During the early 1950s, Tupperware sales and popularity exploded, thanks in large part to Weiss's influence among women who sold Tupperware and some of the famous jubilees celebrating the success of Tupperware ladies at lavish and outlandishly themed parties. At a time when women came back from walking during World War II only to be told to go back to the kitchen, Tupperware was known as a method of empowering women and giving them a toehold in the post-war business world. The tradition of Tupperware's jubilee style events continues to this day, with rallies being held in major cities to recognize and reward top selling and top recruiting individuals, teams and organizations. In 1958, Earl Tupper fired twice over general differences of opinion in the Tupperware business operation. Officially, Tupper objected to the expenses incurred by the Jubilee and other similar celebrations of Tupperware. However, the real reason was that Tupper had been approached by several companies interested in buying him out. He felt that he would not be able to sell with a woman in an executive position. Eric Sol bought Tupperware in 1958. Tupperware spread to Europe in 1916 when Mila Pant hosted a Tupperware party in Weybridge, England, and subsequently around the world. At the time, a strict dress code was required for Tupperware ladies with skirts and stockings worn at all times and white gloves often accompanying the outfit. A technique called carrot calling helped promote the parties. Representatives would travel door to door in neighborhood and ask house waves to run an experiment in which carrots will be placed in Tupperware container and compared with 
any sins that he would ordinarily leave them in. It would often result in the scheduling of a Tupperware party. Rexall sold its namesake drug stores in 1977 and renamed itself Dart Industries. Dart merged with Kraft Co. to form Dart and Kraft. The company demerged with the former Dart assets renamed Primark International. Tupperware Brands was spun off from Primark in 1996. Primark was acquired by Illinois Tool Works three years later. In 2003, Tupperware closed down operations in the UK and Ireland, citing customer dissatisfaction with their direct sales model. There has been limited import distribution since then. The company announced a formal relaunch in the UK in mid-2011 and recruited UK staff, but in December the relaunch was cancelled. In May 2011, the Israeli Daily The Market reported that Tupperware will withdraw from Israel, leaving 2,000 agents without a job. The article attributed this decision to the regional headquarters, which manage other Middle Eastern countries. Tupperware is now sold in almost 100 countries, after picking at more than 100 after 1996. Tupperware parties Tupperware is still sold mostly through a party plan, with rewards for hosts and hostesses, a Tupperware party is run by a Tupperware consultant for a host or hostess who invites friends and neighbors into their home to see the product line. Tupperware hosts and hostesses are rewarded with free products based on the level of sales made at their party. Parties also take place in workplaces, school and other community groups. To stay in touch with its sales force, Tupperware published the monthly magazine Tupperware Sparks. The magazine had snapshots of saleswomen posing with awards and recognitions for high sales. To avoid spending money on advertising, Tupperware created events that attracted free publicity. In most countries, Tupperware sales force is organized in a tiered structure with consultants at the bottom, managers and star managers over them, and next various levels of directors with legacy executive directors at the top level. In recent years, Tupperware has eliminated distributorships in the US. The multi-level marketing strategy adopted by Tupperware has been criticized as manipulative. Statistics released by Tupperware in 2018 showed that 94% of its active distributors remained of the lowest level of the pyramid, with average gross earnings of $653. In recent years, Tupperware in North America has moved to a new business model, which includes more emphasis on direct marketing channels and eliminated its dependency on authorized distributorships. This transition included selling through target stores in the US and superstores in Canada with disappointing results. Tupperware states these hard direct sales. In countries with a strong focus on marketing through parties such as Germany, Australia and New Zealand, Tupperware's market share and profitability continue to decline. In many countries, Tupperware products have a lifetime guarantee. The company is best known for its plastic bowls and storage containers. In recent years, it has expanded into stainless steel cookware, cutlery, chef's knives and other kitchen gadgets. After experiencing a slum in sales and public image in the mid-1990s, the company created several new product lines to attract a younger market. In some countries, including Belgium, Australia, Ireland and the U.S. Tupperware markets their parties and carrier opportunities through mall kiosks. In China, Tupperware products are sold through franchised entrepreneurial shop fronts, of which there were 1,900 in 2005, due to pyramid selling laws enacted in 1998. Tupperware Liberland 
In 2024, Tupperware Company entered Liberland thanks to Ukraine Liberland Chamber of Commerce, and many of Liberlanders are getting products of Tupperware.